Welcome to part two of our review of the Galaxy S7. If you didn't see part one, the link is included in the description below. And in this part of the review, we're gonna cover some of the changes that they made to the graphics, which is gonna help with gaming. I'm also gonna introduce you to the game launcher, which is the coolest thing ever. And also a uh, few things that they mentioned in Barcelona when they um, did the uh, unpacking event. Uh, they did mention that if you pre-order the Galaxy S7, you get a free Gear VR, the virtual reality headset that they made when they teamed up with Oculus, which is a $100 value. You get that for free if you just pre-order the Galaxy S7, which is probably the best deal in mobile phone history. Uh, check with your carrier to make sure that you qualify for that if you do a pre-order. And then you get a VR headset, which is over 200 apps and climbing and experiences that you can that you can live the moment. And they also uh, mentioned or introduced us to the Gear 360, which is a 360 degree camera that you can purchase yourself. And then it's gonna totally change how you look at old memories rather than just your photo album. You can actually relive those experiences up close and personal in 360 degrees. It's gonna be amazing. Now, let me introduce you to the game launcher, which is the coolest thing ever, like I said. It will basically manage all of the games that you have on your device, and it gives you a bunch of in-game options. Let me bring up a game and show you what I mean. So here I have Madden, and while in Madden, you see this little red dot on the left? Let's go ahead and select that. Here's the cool options that we have. Now, how many people have been playing a game and got interrupted by a text message or a phone call? I know I have. So here, I can turn on no alerts during the game. Nobody can text me, nobody can call me. I am uninterrupted. Here I have lock the recent and back buttons. Now, how many times have you been playing a game and you accidentally bumped the back button? Well, now you cannot bump the back button during your game. And here we can actually minimize the game. So let's say you're exhausted, you need to take a break, or you do want to answer a phone call. Let's minimize this. And now we can use our phone the way it is, but you see this little bubble we have? That's our game. And then it just picks us up right where we left off whenever we want to resume our game. And, it, and we are back where we started or where we left off and let's take another look and then the coolest options is you can take a screenshot so let's say there's a level you and your buddy have not been able to beat you finally beat it you're gonna take a screenshot of that victory screen and here you can also record so I can actually record myself playing a game so let's do that I'm gonna hit record and recording has started now let's do see if we can get into a game here let's resume the game I left off at and it's actually gonna record audio as well so it's picking up everything that I'm saying let's go ahead and snap the ball and I'll just let him get sacked all right now I'm gonna stop recording by hitting this and that recorded everything that we did let's go ahead and check in our gallery and play that going to record audio as well so it's picking up everything that I'm saying let's go ahead and snap the ball and I'll just let him get sacked all right so we'll all admit that's the coolest thing that's ever happened to a mobile phone and that comes with the Galaxy S7 so welcome to your next phone um, it releases next month sometime. I didn't catch the exact date on the unpacking event. So March 2016. And yeah, thanks for joining us for our review. And uh, we'll see you again.